what's up everybody we're back here on KST map today because I wanted to show you the new road that I built um, if you remember when you come off the bridge across the uh, lake or ocean or what, whatever it is you know from the mainland over here to this island where the timber is uh, that road was like really muddy and uh, although the mud is cool I do like it um, it really slows the truck down so I built a road out of gravel and uh, I did all that off camera you may have seen some pictures on Facebook though if you follow me over there but anyway I I made a road and uh, this will be I believe I may have tested it uh, you know when I finished it but this is the first time on camera so we're gonna take this load of wood chips down to the sawmill and we're gonna test out the new uh, gravel road that I built and you'll be able to see it here in just a minute it was really cool uh, it went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to uh, I just took those uh, if you watched over there on the uh, Timber Trail Canyon I just took the same dump trucks uh, bought a couple here and filled them up with gravel and pretty much the same method just uh, kinda dumped them out on the ground and uh, took the uh, motor grader and smoothed it out then the compactor and really got it pretty good and smooth uh, you'll see here in just a few seconds going around this corner but yeah that that mud was just kind of driving me crazy it's uh it really does slow your truck down but you see i've, I've still got some smoothing to do it's it kind of spreads out as you drive over it which the more i drive on this thing the smoother it'll get because you see it's kind of it's a little bit bumpy but like i said more i drive on it the smoother it's going to get I may have to come back over with the compactor and, and uh, smooth it out just a little bit more. But I mean, right now it's 100% better than what it was. I mean, there's no. You may hit a pocket. There's a little pocket of mud there coming. But that's, you know, that's fine. But what I was mainly wanting to do is just to get us a, a, a nice road where we can drive on it and not have to get slowed down too much by that mud. And it's just about to get dark. Uh, I don't know if I have any lights set up back there at the job site, so I may skip the night. And just a quick update, if you're uh, waiting on the plantation map, it should be out, I'm hoping, uh, by Friday or Saturday of you know this weekend. Uh, I've got a good many more trees to place. I've got a few little small detail items to place and to fix. Uh, I've got to fix the sign at the sawmill. I'm going to put up maybe one or two other little signs and uh, just some little detail things like uh, maybe some dumpsters or some trash cans uh, I've got some pallets that I want to place in a couple of spots and um, just a few little small things and there's uh, I've got to see about that wood crusher at the sawmill it, it tends, tends to want to run all the time I don't think it's supposed to do that I think there's uh, something that I'm missing there so I've got to review what I did on Dodson logging and then get that fixed and then once all that's done, I'm hoping I can get it done this week. Uh, you know, then we'll be able to release the the map. But uh, we're getting there. I mean, it's 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 a slow process. I mean, it's I thought with based on how fast I was getting all the plantation trees done that maybe I could uh, you know get it, get the map done a little quicker. But when I started placing all the trees, and I thought, well, it needs some fence here around the sawmill and uh, there's uh, another little spot where I'm putting some barbed wire fence up. It, that that really goes slow because you gotta place it, move it, adjust it. You know, sometimes even adjust each individual strand of barbed wire. So I mean, it's it's <laughs> it gets tedious real quick. So, but I'm really hoping that maybe by this weekend I'll have it done.
And then, just as soon as I finish and release the plantation, I'll get back to work on uh, Forbidden Forest because that that's gonna be a pretty cool map too. Uh, it's a little different. Uh, it's it's you know this uh, my Dodson logging map and the plantation. Those are both southern u.s style forestry and the plantation i mean uh, for uh, forbidden forest was just something off the top of my head uh and it's gonna be kind of more uh, i mean there's some there's some flat spots but for the most part it's fairly i guess maybe maybe mountainous would be a good example good word it's not too terribly steep or anything nothing like mountain logging extreme or, or black mountain montana anything like that but it's got some uh, terrain to it for sure. All right, now when I get back over here, I'm gonna see if I have any of those construction work lights. If I do, then we'll set them up and be ready for the night time. But if not, I'm gonna skip through the night because I don't, I don't, I don't mind working at night too much. But uh, I'd, I'd much rather, I think, just work in the daytime. See now, isn't that much nicer? I mean, it's still a little bit rough, but that's a whole lot better than hitting that mud and getting slowed down. See if this thing still got any chips in there. Right, it may be empty. Yep, empty. All right. Well, let's see here. What have we got to do? What have we got to do? Looks like we got quite a bit of wood to uh, process. And there's the fellow buncher. Yeah, what I was doing with the fellow buncher, I was going through here and cutting out all the dead trees and the little trees. You can see there's a few little trees left in there and a couple of dead ones over back that way. But I was really trying to improve the frame rate by removing some of those dead trees. And it seems to help. I mean, I'm let's see, where am I at right now? Well, I'm still at 30, but I've got a lot of vehicles around this area. If I pan back this way, oh, it gets even worse. <laughs> well, we got a bunch of trees there. Now, okay, now we're at 60, but you know, we're looking at the ground, of course. Um, yeah, we still, there's still a lot of trees. we got to cut out a whole bunch more trees. Um, all right, let's see. Let's get this fellow buncher out of the way. In fact, I'm going to head back this direction because I'm probably going to cut a few more of those dead trees. Now, what I was doing with the dead trees is uh, I was just chipping them up because... Uh, most uh, sawmills, I'm sure if you brought them a bunch of dead trees, they'd probably turn the truck around. <laughs> so, uh, With this map, we got enough trees we can cut, so I'm going I'm to start uh, just chipping up the uh, dead trees and the little small trees and the bigger, these bigger ones that have the, you know, the, 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 they're growing good and whatever in good health. I'm just going to cut those up and haul those to the sawmill. All right, uh, let's see. Let's get back here to the sawmill. Well, there we go. Okay, so let's get this truck unloaded because uh, we've got to get him back up to the landing so we can uh, load up some more of those uh, trees we've already got processed because I don't want to get too many stacked up there. And let's see. Oh gosh. Yeah, I 
thought I had fixed that. Because mouse left and right, and then to the left and right of the movement operates that. Some For some reason I've got, see I've got the my button on my open close claws. Huh. Well, I'll have to fix that. Oh well. Work on that later. I'll just have to deal with it, I guess. in here. If I known it was going to be this tight, I probably would have done something different. Uh, I may have gone in and edited the map a little bit and either removed... Well, see, I can't really move that. I probably would have made another uh, log cell point somewhere. Anyway, all right, let's get back in our Mack truck. There we go. Oh yeah, so if you're a fan of FDR logging, he's released uh, another update to his machines. I think it's version 13, I think he's up to now. Anyway, it looks pretty cool. He, he removed the logos. He took the FDR logos off. He removed the silly names he made up for those machines off of there. And uh, so now you can, uh, you know, go make your own logos and stick them on there and if you want to. Uh, just a, a few little minor upgrades to a few of the machines, too. Nothing major. Uh, this was mostly just cosmetics upgrade in, in, in terms of taking off the... Uh, uh, the logos and stuff, but he did redo the forwarders, which I still don't like. Uh, I don't, I don't care for those forwarders he has. Uh, I, I like the grapples on them, but I just don't like the way that the uh, the the machine doesn't articulate. So whenever you turn the corner, the back end just kind of slides around. It's kind of funny looking whenever you turn, but I don't know for some reason he doesn't think he can make the articulation work or look good or something. I don't know. He got away from the doing the articulated machines here a few versions back. I'm trying to drive on different parts of the road to kind of start to smooth it out some more. Because you can see how it kind of spreads out whenever you see it spreading out there. It'll, it'll eventually get pretty smooth, I think. All right, come on, autosave. Let's go. Well, we've had, uh, I think, uh, one or two more subscribers since the last video, so I do appreciate all the new subscribers, and thanks for subscribing and helping me reach to a thousand, get to a thousand uh, subscribers. <coughs> Still trying to get there so I can get my videos monetized again. I know we can do it. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that maybe watch some of the videos and don't subscribe, but, uh, I mean, even if you just watch a few, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I put up new videos, and... I may put up something you like, you know, or may, you know, maybe a, a, a map you're interested in, you can subscribe and check it out. But, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to get to a thousand. I'm hoping to get there 
I don't know. Maybe when 19 drops or something, and I'll start playing that. Maybe I can get to a thousand by then. But because I'm sure there'll be a lot of people tuning in to want to see the Farming Simulator 19 gameplay. And I'm hoping to start playing some other kind of games too. I, I kind of, I think Spin Tires just kind of played out. Uh, I don't know. I guess people just don't care for it anymore. I've put up a few Spin Tires videos just as filler when I needed to do some other things, but. Uh, didn't have much luck with uh, numbers of viewers. <laughs> anyway, I, I can understand. I mean, you know, Spin Tires is one of those where once you've seen some of the gameplay, that's pretty much it. And it's not really a whole lot of new stuff unless I go out and find some, uh, you know, like some, some different mods for vehicles or games or, I mean, uh, maps or something. But even then, I mean, some of the... Uh, I mean, it's, the gameplay is roughly the same, so it's not really anything different. We already had this one drug up, so I'm just going to go ahead and send that to the sawmill. Maybe they won't turn the truck around to hit the gate. <laughs> Alright, come on. You know, I was watching some uh, actual in-game play of Farming Simulator 19, and it looks pretty cool, but again, it's not really anything that you can't already do in Farming Simulator 19, because I mean, uh, 17, because uh, the 19 gameplay I was seeing was uh, basically what they were showing off was that whenever you drive through a field now, like of grass or wheat or something, the... the, um, the whatever's planted there will actually kind of bend and uh which i think i think you can download a mod that'll do that i, I don't i don't do much farming so i'm not really sure uh but that would be kind of neat uh and and it's you know it's it's kind of the same thing i think that's going to happen is you know modders are coming out with some cool mods and then the farming simulator guys go like okay well we're just going to incorporate that, that into the game that's going to be a new feature i mean we've already had it it's just, uh, you know, now it's part of the game from the, from the get-go, which I think is kind of silly. I mean, they can't come up with stuff on their own. I mean, we need trees that flex. We need, uh, trees that, um, have some, when you, when you grip them with a the grapple, that they don't shoot out the grapple, you know, they, I don't know. <laughs> it'd be kind of neat if they included mud in there, though. I mean, you know, in, in certain spots, it'd be good. Now just to put mud to be put in mud, no, let's not do that, but in certain situations like around ponds or rivers or something, that'd be kinda neat to put some mud. Now what I would really like to see <coughs> is to incorporate more of the weather system. Uh oh. Yeah, I knew it was gonna do it. So in other words, like when it rains, you know, then the ground should get muddy. I mean, why, why can't we? Why can't they figure that out? I mean, all you got to do is put some sort of, a, uh, you know, a script in there that says, okay, if it's this kind of ground, <coughs> then, and it doesn't have to be every type of that ground. Just maybe certain situations. Maybe like you could, you could paint on a layer. Kind of like with the, with the the tip collision, you know, paint on a layer and say, okay, in these spots, whenever it rains, it's going to be muddy if there's dirt there, or if it's a field, you know, a field for sure, because most fields are are fairly flat. That'd be so awesome, and then give the ground like maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a few inches or a, or a foot of. You know, when the when you drive over it and it's muddy, you sink into it just a little, not much. 
we don't need like spin tires up to the doors but I mean, it'd be really cool because then you can have all sorts of different things you could do like you could uh have tractors get stuck and have to go rescue them and and trucks need a push with a dozer or something you know something cool like that but you know I'm, I'm guessing it's just a limitation of the game engine which I'm really hoping that they upgrade that in the next version or two I mean graphics yeah you know everybody loves better graphics but let's get some different gameplay stuff uh, you know like where you actually mud is generated by rain not you have to place it there and it's mud all the time yeah, that's just my thoughts all right man I need to get all that get all that stuff out of the way I mean I know it's hard to reproduce you know real life physics and stuff because it's just I don't think the computing power is quite there yet but I think there's still a lot they could do I mean if they if they upgraded the game engine of course now it's gonna limit a lot of people with computers and stuff and certainly on uh, console but I'd really like to see an up upgrade to the game engine I think to some extent the forestry part of the game kind of gets overlooked sometimes because I mean uh, you know they always are doing stuff like adding new um, animals and new crops and things but I mean we hardly ever get it seems like anything for forestry I am kind of curious though to see what's gonna happen uh, you know because John Deere is uh, coming to the game now and I'm wondering you know how many tractors and, and things we're gonna have with that I wonder if there's any kind of forestry because I mean we got this the skitters you got the loaders oh that'd be cool if uh, you know John Deere could um, jump in there and kind of help out and kind of do some of the modeling or provide detailed you know blueprints or something to help out and I don't know that'd be that'd be really cool but you got to think that John Deere's probably already got uh, 3d models of all their machines so I'll be curious to see when the game releases or maybe as a DLC or something you know extra machines or something uh, be kinda neat to see what all John Deere stuff we're gonna have and I really wish that they could get more manufacturers in the game because I mean it's it's like free advertisement you got your fans of these certain you know John Deere and and Caterpillar, Volvo, all these uh, you know big companies, and I mean it's it's kind of free advertising. I mean, I mean give them a kickback. I mean give them a little percentage of whatever for using their. I'm sure John Deere worked out something, <laughs> but um, you know I, I mean gosh, we need more stuff in the game. Just give it some variety. That way the modders can. Uh, work on other things like maps and and different types of vehicles because if we've already got John Deere then the modders won't have to mod any John Deere anymore unless there's a particular tractor or something that's not in the game already and I really kinda wish that Giants would give out uh, early copies of 
the game and stuff to certain developers or modders, I should say modders, uh, who produce some really good maps and, and machines and stuff and let them have it for a couple of months and say, okay, you know, we'd like for you to have at least one map and or, or a couple of machines or something before the game releases. That way when it does release, we've got something else besides in-game vehicles and maps to play on. And I think supposedly um, this time when Farming Simulator 19 comes out, we're going to have a European map and a U.S. map, I think. I think I saw that. All right, get out of the way. All, all these little pieces are in the way. Oops. Yeah, I kind of love to know how much time it took to make this KST map because there is no talents. I mean, just with the plantation, I mean, I found a script that would place the trees all in a straight row, and that took that didn't take very long at all for me to figure that out and get the trees placed that are in plantation style. But for these trees here that are all scattered around like they are, I mean, this this probably took no talents. How many weeks and months to just just placing the trees on this island? I mean. Not to mention all the detail work in the city with the signs and all the extra stuff. There's no telling us how much they spent on this map. Alright. Get that out of the way. I'm going to come clean up this. Let's get us a truck over here and get a truck loaded up. Yeah, see, we don't have any lights over here, so I think I'm probably, when it gets maybe about 20 hours, 20 hundred hours, uh, I'm probably going to Go ahead and skip through the night. Let's see, I don't want to get too close. That'll probably be good right about there.
since we don't need that frames per second anymore. <laughs> we know it's not good. You know, uh, uh, like over there on Gold Rush, I haven't played that game much lately, but uh, over on Gold Rush, they've implemented a uh, repair, like the machines will break down or, or you know, you have to fix them and whatever. That, I'm, I'm mixed on whether I think that'd be a good idea for a farming simulator or not. I mean, I know it's real life, it's, you know, hoses break and um, teeth get worn out on the fellow bunchers and things like that but I don't know if that'd be a good idea or not I mean it, it would definitely add you know a little little something extra to the game but I just don't know if I would like that I, it, it, I mean if you could turn it on and off I'd be think I'd, that'd be pretty good but to just automatically have it oh well your your machine has broken down you know I don't know <laughs> What? Oh, I hit an upright over there. Okay. So, what did I hit? Can't really see what I'm doing. It's not looking too good. Let's see if I can clean that up just a little bit. That made it worse. I may send it. Let's see. Yeah, it's not very good looking. Oh well, we'll go. We'll go with that. And let's see if I can get these uh, stray logs back on the pile. Uh, so over on the Facebook page, I put up a picture yesterday of the, uh, well, actually not yesterday, yesterday for me, uh, Saturday for y'all, <laughs> um, on the, uh, the Pacific Inlet progress. Uh, I'm still trying to cut down, completely cut down Pacific Inlet. Uh, we've made a good bit of progress, and um, I've cut down now over 10,500 trees. I've still got a long way to go. But we're getting there just a little bit every day. I don't think I'll finish it. 
you know, before uh, Farming Simulator 19 comes out, which I was hoping to do, but just don't think it's going to happen. I have been recording some more gameplay from time to time for uh, High Speed Login number 7. Yeah, number 7. And uh, we're, we're getting there. Uh, I've got, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe somewhere between 10 and 15 hours of gameplay recorded already. See, there's the motor grader, and there's the compactor. And I was using the dozer at first, and that didn't really seem to be working out too good, so I switched over to the motor grader, and that, that really works good. And the dump trucks are uh, back at the shop. I've just parked them over there in case we need them again. Yeah, it's starting to get a little dark now. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, when I get this truck over here to the sawmill and get it parked, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through the night. Wow, these, the brakes on this truck work extremely well. In fact, too well. I mean, just tapping them, and you're you're like you drop ten or fifteen miles per hour. Bit strong. Oh yeah. Whoa. Just about took that too sharp. That'll do it. I'm just going to leave that there for right now. And uh, see, there's the dash of dump trucks. Uh, they got a little muddy when the, all that mud on that road. Uh, oh, I do have some lights all lined up. Look at there. I forgot about that. I bought some of those. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's just, for right now, let's just go ahead and, and speed through the night. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll do that. And while that's doing, I'm going to go ahead and just hop in the fellow buncher and cut a few trees because I should be able to see well enough to do that. Yeah, I'm going to cut down a few more of these dead trees and try to get those out of the way. Oops. Well, 
to let it go. It slipped out of the uh, grapple, I think, just a little. Seems like with this version of FDR's machine, if you uh, drive with the log in there, it tends to want to try to fall out. I never really get uh, when people you know, that make maps like this put so many of these dead trees on the map. I mean, there's, unless it's a super unhealthy stand of trees, there's not going to be that many dead trees. I mean, the only reason you get dead trees like that is either one, they've uh, reached the end of their growth life, which I suppose this could be a simulation of, you know, just a mature, untouched uh, forest and the tr some of the trees have just died but ordinarily uh, with pines like this I mean you won't get you won't see this close of spacing because um, the the more dominant trees will grow up tall and and it won't give the uh, much sunlight to the ground for the smaller trees to thrive and, and make such a dense forest you just won't see it Because typically, what happens is, um, you know, when you when you when you just clear cut an area, and you let some of the trees from around the area seed in new pine trees, um, what happens first is all the little bushes and sweet gums and just other little trash trees and stuff grow up, and and then the pine saplings start to really take off. Uh, I mean, when they start to take off they'll you know pop up immediately over those bushes drowning out some of the sun for those and those will eventually die off and then the uh the pines will take over and some of maybe you know, maybe some of the hardwoods that have been more firmly established will be there but for the most part uh you'll see mostly just pine trees left after that point there'll be a few it'll be dense on the undergrowth but just a lot of pine trees and then as it gets a little bit later in life uh, the more dominant pine trees of course grow tall and then some of the smaller ones will die off and um, then when you get to the really 
mature end of it you know you, you might see something like this where there's a bunch of dead trees around but they won't be there won't be this much spacing I mean there won't be that many trees I don't think mostly what I dealt with when I was working in uh, you know as a forester was the more managed plantation or more managed uh, style of, of timber We cut just a few, you know, places where maybe it had been cut once before, like maybe it got wet and they pulled out and at the back of the track there was still a bunch of trees in there. Uh, something like that. We've we cut a few of those, but you know, for the most part, um, you'll have kind of two stages of pines in there. You'll have the really tall trees and you have kind of another little uh, some of the smaller ones that have found some sunlight sort of something sort of similar to that but I don't you know this is pretty rare here I think this type of stay in the trees it's really dense it's kinda neat for the game because it gives you a lot to do but in real life I don't, I don't think you really see much like this See where I was going. We still got a lot of trees to pick up. Remember when we cut down the, uh, we cut us a little boundary? We need to go pick up all those trees. I may do that next. And then if we got any time at the, well, let's see, we're getting already getting pretty low on time. Uh, I'm going to go pick up a few more of those trees and skid them up to the landing because we need, to, we need to get that cleared out. So we can make another pass through there and cut down some more. In fact, I'm probably not even going to offload these wood chips. We'll get the truck in place, and the next time we'll we'll offload it. You know, I've been using this Peterbilt truck for a long time now, and several of my maps and videos and things, and it's a really nice truck. Uh, I kind of wish that it got dirty, but, you know, I kind of like also like that it stays shiny because it looks new. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's got a really um, big fuel tank on it. You can see it's got 1,206 liters. That was probably, I don't know, I think it probably started with maybe... Now it doesn't say what the percentage is, but I can't remember if it's uh, 1,300 or 1,250 or it can't be too much because it's the the uh, little bar there is barely moved. But it's just a just a, a a big fuel tank, which is nice, and we don't have to worry about fueling up too much. Alright, while that's all floating, let's get our um, let's get our skitter here. Let's see. We'll hook up a few trees.
I guess we, yeah, we already picked up, because this, this was a short run anyway, but we already picked up all of these. I've got a button on one of my joysticks mapped to the, uh, you know, to release the, the, the cables on the skitter. So that's kind of nice. Not to hit shift B, I just hit one button. Yeah, I've really got to get in here and clear out some more of these trees to improve the frame rate. It's 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 playable, but it's it's awfully slow. And it's about half of what it should be. Yeah, look at that. 20 something frames. That's that's terrible. And I'm not playing with super high uh you know graphics or anything. I've just got I think most of it's kind of kind of medium.
Just trying to get that tree out of the way so I can get in here and get some of these others that are all clustered up. Oh, so I didn't see the train. Wow, that's... Hmm. That's stuck in there pretty good. Alright, let's just see if we can get maybe a couple of these things out of here. I think maybe... Uh, Alright, come on. I think maybe... Let's try unhooking that one. See what happens. I, don't think, I think that one was the one hanging us up. No? Well, gosh. I have no idea what's holding us up. Can't see nothing back here but a tangle of limbs. Alright, let's just try one at a time, I guess. See if we can get something to break loose. Gotta be kidding. I can't even get one tree to break loose. Alright. Let's try one of these on top. All right, well, we're just about out of time. I don't have time to fool with all these trees right now. But I'm going to see if I can't get a few of these things to break loose and get them drug up. And maybe next time we can uh, get some more of these things skidded up. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video this time and uh, checked out. I was mainly wanting to show you the uh, new road I made on, uh, uh, you know, the all coming off that bridge there. But uh, anyway, like I said, if you have not hit the subscribe button please go ahead and consider doing that and helping me out I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and get my videos monetized again and like always uh, if you want to do a monthly donation go check out the patreon page i've got a patreon set up and for a small amount of five dollars a month you can become a patron and over there once we reach uh... ten ten patrons i'm gonna start doing uh, monthly giveaways and once i get my videos monetized here i'm also gonna uh... start doing some giveaways but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again on Wednesday. And until then, have a good week, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.